Hey guys, Pokemon Collectibles here, and this week we will be taking a look at strange Pokemon theories. Now, there's a lot of theories out there, and from Ash being in a coma to you know whether whole Pokemon world actually doesn't exist, all the way to all of Pokemon games take place after a Great War, to you murdered your rivals Pokemon. It's so many weird and strange theories out there. Now, I'm not going to confirm or deny any of them because, well, we don't really know. That's why we call them theories. So. So I'm just going to take a look at them and show you guys what the theory is, then what my take on it is, and then whether or not I believe it or whether or not it sounds likely that it's going to happen. So let's get into this. Theory number six, coughing and wheezing are products of Team Rocket experiments. There was always something off about wheezing. Coughing seems to be really happy and just a happy-go-lucky little Pokemon and he always has this really bright smile on his face. Wheezing, on the other hand, always looks really miserable. He always has this just, I don't care about anything look on his face. He just always looks so sad, like he just needs a hug or something. But wheezing actually has a second being growing out of him that once coughing evolves, it just kind of grows up out of nowhere. It seems to be a little weird that he has that with him. Nature, to make something like that, it just seems a little strange, you know? I mean, why would nature create something that's made to be miserable? Nature is usually so nurturing and loving that it's hard to believe that it would create a Pokemon that's this miserable all the time. So if that theory is correct, then what made coughing and wheezing if nature didn't? And the answer is, the only other thing that it could be, which is man. More specifically, Team Rocket. Supposedly, they were trying to whip up a ghost Pokemon by creating their gaseous forms. In true Team Rocket fashion, of course, they only have tried to make him, so they ended up with toxic balloons as Pokemon, one of which is very miserable. Now, a couple of key factors that support this theory. Number one is that they were found in the Pokemon Mansion, which is an abandoned laboratory in the original games, which the Pokemon Laboratory is where a lot of things took place like Mew. There's a bunch of other Pokemon that you can find there. So what if Team Rocket just took over that laboratory or they're running it at the very beginning and they created these two Pokemon? It sounds pretty logical to me if you think about it. The other piece of evidence is on coughing himself. In particular, the skull and crossbones that are on his stomach. Now it's a universal sign for poison. It's something that humans used to put on bottles a long time ago to show hey, this is poisonous, this is is dangerous, this is deadly, stay away from it, or use with extreme caution. Now obviously, if this little Pokemon has that symbol on him, that's a human symbol, then he was created by humans. He wasn't made by nature. Because if he was made in nature, then why would nature put a human symbol on him? So that's the extent of this little theory. Uh, I think it sounds pretty plausible, to be honest. Um, I never really thought about it before, but coughing and wheezing don't look like any nature could have created them, they really do look like they're products of experiments, especially wheezing. So let me know what you guys think. If you think that coughing and wheezing were made by humans, Team Rocket specifically, or maybe another team made him. But so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching and have an awesome day.